Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at some uh, advanced lofting, maybe not advanced, but a bit more intermediate. We're going to be looking at something like this and ending up with some bodies like this. So I'll just turn off the canvas, you can see we've got more or less the shape that we see in the canvas. So follow along and see if you can do the same. So as you can see, we've got our sprayer over here. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to add a construction plane at the bottom and over there that we're going to create our circles on that we'll do our loft between. Once we've done that, we're going to do a separate sketch for the rails for our loft. So let's start with our first bit. Um, we're just going to draw a construction line over there. So L for line tool and basically just the points we want, so change it to construction. And there we've got our little line. And I'll do another one at the top here. You'll see this one I'm doing inside there at an angle. The reason for that is when I do my loft, I want it to be inside of this second profile because we have two bodies. Um, and I don't want to have uh, an overlapping edge that looks odd. So finish sketch. Now we'll go construct, plane at angle. I'll select this one, I can see it's wrong, so I'm going to go at 90. And if I change my view, I can see I've got a construction plane over there. That's the first one. Then we'll do another plane at angle. So that was construct, plane at angle, and on this line. Now you can see it's oriented my plane, same as the last one. So that's great. Finish sketch. Now the next bit we're going to do is our rails. Again, create a sketch on the front plane. Um, I tried this last time doing the sketches at the same time, but all it did for me was create a complete uh, sort of ring around there and it wouldn't allow me to add the rail, so I've just separated it. And for this, I'm just going to P for project and just these points, not the whole line, or you'll run into issues when you try to set up your rails. So I've just projected those endpoints, and now I'll go spline, so we select our spline tool, and don't add in too many. You can see as you move around the curve, it starts adjusting it nicely. And if you're not happy with it, you can always just adjust it with your handles or the position of your points. So I'm quite happy with that. I mean, this one we could maybe curve out a bit. That looks fine. And again, spline tool. I'll run into there and just drop it on the peaks and troughs of this sort of wavy handle. You can see as I select the next point, it reorients its curve to more or less match what we're looking for. And um, this one you can see is quite far out. So I'm just going to adjust these points. And then if like at this point, you can see it's bulging out of it. We just click on a dot and it gives us this handle. So I can shorten that handle and it actually sort of tightens that curve a little bit. So we don't want to make it too tight and give us a weird shape. Um, we just wanted to be in line with what we want. Actually, I'm not happy with that. So I'll double click here and go back there, drag that one down. I didn't spot that. Now what we're going to do is create a sketch on our planes. Nope, it's just selected a plane for me. Go back, create sketch, and I'm going to select our bottom plane. Now I'll just maneuver it to an angle we can work at. I want to go P for project, and we're going to project this line. Because I'm going to need to snap to the center there. Uh, make sure at this point 3D sketch isn't on because it'll kind of mess up what you're doing when you're working at funny angles like this. C for center diameter circle and we can see there immediately it snaps to the center. Okay, so that's our first one. Finish sketch. We are going to do the same thing. So create sketch on this top plane that we created. And C for center diameter circle. There's our center point of the two lines. You can see it meets nicely there. Finish sketch. 
So if you wanted a different shape, you could have done an ellipse or something, but I've just gone ahead and assumed that this is a round handle. Now, if we go to create, well, we could go to surface and do a surface loft. Um, and then after that, we do a thicken command to sort of give it some thickness because the surface loft is almost a non-existent body. It's not a solid body, but I prefer doing my work in solid. It's maybe not the best way to do it, but I just, it seems a bit easier to me and I enjoy it more, but whatever works for you. Now it's giving me three profiles. Let me start that again. There, now that's counted as one and profile two. Now if you have a look at it, you can see it's gone straight up, um, but we can add rails. So if I add a rail on the side, you can see even the left hand side's followed that curve. But if we add a second rail and finish sketch there, we've got this solid body. So if I go ahead and turn off the canvas, we can see we've got that handle for the sprayer and the uh, top and the bottom start as a round circle and the grip is shaped sort of ergonomically for your hand. Now that we've got the handle done, we're going to create this top section and it's going to be a separate body. So just like before, I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane and I'm going to draw some construction lines. This is going to be where we make our planes. So let's just get it there we go I'm happy with that so we'll have one there and then one across here so you'll notice in the drawing it's kind of you can see a curve over there and um, this is because it's a bit of a forced perspective due to the way the image was taken um, so I'm not going to worry about those curves in this instant I'm just going to get more or less where the sections are so we have a loft from there to there for the orange section and then from there to the top, we'll have our curve for the top section. Um, I'll probably just move this up a little bit. And that one too. So it won't look exactly the same, but it'll give us a good idea of what we're looking at. So finish sketch. Now we're going to create our plane. So construct plane at angle. Again, we just select the line and I'm going to make that 90. There we can see it's where we want it to be. Again, plane at angle on this one. And make that 90. And then the last one, plane at angle and 90. So we've got our three planes that we're going to be lofting between. So we're going to do our little circle over there, there and then there. And these are going to be two separate bodies. So my first one will be a circle on that line over there. It's a bit of a awkward one. I want to project that line. So P, project that line. Again, like before, make sure 3D sketch isn't on. C for construction or C for center down to circle. Make sure construction is off. And we'll snap to center and just draw it out to our projected lines. We're going to draw the same on this one. Draw a sketch, get to an angle, and I'm going to project this line. So P, project, and C for center down the circle. When we've got that triangle, you know it's snapped to the center. And finish sketch. Now our final one on this plane, we just repeat what we just did. Project that line. See if we're centered out circle and draw out our line there. So now we've got three planes or three lines that we can loft between. I'm going to do a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to draw our loft uh, path. So a sketch on front plane. I'm going to do this in two sketches, one for this back one and then one for the front. I'm going to project our points. And then we do our spline. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. So we'll 
will just shorten this handle and bring it up. That looks all right. And then we'll do the other side. This one will just kind of follow the same curve. Oh, press to escape there. I mean to exit the curve, not escape. Um, I think I did more lines than I needed to, but we can just make it work like this. And I'm happy with that. So now we've got that, what we need for the first one. I'm just going to get all my lofting angles out the way. Is this on the front plane? I'm not sure, it just sort of selected a plane for me automatically. Again, we're going to project these points. And then we'll do our spline. So this one's going to be a bit different. Um, we're going to go over there. So we don't have a too much of a weird shape. I'm going to just give us a bit of a gradual curve here. Because this top part you can see is really distorted from the false perspective there. But I'm pretty sure once we get our loft done and we look at the 3D view, we're going to add a little chamfer on there or fill it. Just get it looking a bit smoother. Now we'll do our lofts. So loft, I'm going to select this profile. Must have clicked on something else. So this profile to that profile. And it's doing a cut, so I'm going to make it a new body. And we'll select our, our rails. So you see that's, that line over there, that's why I intersected this, um, drew this one up there, or else we might have like a bit of a gap in between them. Or yeah, I could have done that a bit higher, so they'd merge better. But I want this to be a new body, so. Okay, we got our, we can actually just label that handle. And this one, um, Sprayer one, don't know what else to name them, but anyway, loft, we will do our next loft. Select this profile and then that one. Again with the rails. And it's going to be a new body. Okay. So that's looking kind of close-ish. I'm going to turn off this canvas now so we can see it's quite similar. Um, but we would want to put in a few little things like maybe a fillet over here and see if it'll let me do one. So then you see that just kind of blends out a bit. And the bigger we go, the further down it is. So I like that. Um, I can see this, this section isn't quite what it was on that drawing. Just F over here. I want to do a fill it, then we're going to select this, and maybe a 5 mil. So there's our little loft. We could, of course, go add in a bunch of holes there, or whatever the case is. But I'm just going to add a bit of color to this. So you can right click and go to appearance, or you can just push S and type in appearance. I just typed A and there it comes up. I want a black handle. So I'm just going to type in plastic, because we're looking for plastic. Um, go with this. And we'll just drag it on, it'll attach to that body. Now I can get another one. Instead of going to go look for the color you want, you can just right click on there, edit. And I want an orange. I'm trying to make this similar to the one in the drawing and then we'll drop that black over there. So there we've had a bit of a look into how to loft between complex profiles. So we're lofting between two planes and we've got a complex profile along it. Uh, so with this kind of thing if you're busy doing some sort of uh, organic looking stuff you can get quite a bit done.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. And follow for more. Until next time. Bye.